Uh, so this week I got a lot of progress done. Uh, I got probably 90% of the patch panels done. I have a couple of small ones here and there I have to complete, but most of them got done and uh, they came out really well. I have a couple that like in that corner that I have to do and uh, little, little holes here and there I get a patch up, uh, but definitely a lot of progress got done. I didn't film all of it because I feel like, I don't know, some of it's interesting, but some of it's just like the same thing, especially with a flat stock body like this. Uh, so I figured I'd just get through this point here and move on to the next. Uh, we also got this spare tire was, uh, cover was kind of dented in. I roughly bang that out just to get the shape back. So what I'm going to do today, uh, is build some fenders. Uh, you can see the outline of where the fenders used to be. And I looked around, I looked on eBay, I looked on Craigslist. Um, I talked to different people that I know have pots and I very much appreciate those people that offer up pots to me, especially, um, one of the follow, one of the people that follow this channel, uh, Willie's garage. Um, he offered pots to me and uh, you know, I contacted him about the fenders and unfortunately fenders, I feel like get, get beat on a lot. So the, he did have fenders, but the, he said they were most likely not in really good shape, uh, which I even, I so much appreciate the consideration, uh, someone looking out for the project and, uh, putting, you know, offers out there for that. Um, but I was thinking they're really not complicated to make. Uh, so I figured it would be a good project. I have plenty of metal left over to make them. And that's what I think I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna get uh, set up and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to go. About an outline of where I'd like the fenders to be. Uh, Tracy is gonna clean all this up, uh, all this rust. She said she wants to come out with a grinder and clean that up before we install these permanently. But at this point, I drew some lines where the outline of the fender is gonna go. Made it right around to that side. And what that helps me do is make get this critical angle right here. Uh, I have to do layout on the sheet metal that I have up on the table. And that <clears throat> angle right there is, is very important. So what I'm gonna do is I have that drawn out and I'm gonna use this bevel to figure out where that angle is going to be. All right, so now that I get those lines set up and I have my bevel, I'm going to line this up with a line on the outside here. And I'm going to make this edge of the bevel parallel with this line right here. I mean, I, I don't have to get them that close as far as I don't need this edge right up against here because I can see when it's parallel. Then once I get that to where I want it, make sure this is lined up on this side, then I'll just snug up this wing nut, which it was already pretty snug. But now that's gonna give me that uh, spot, that angle that I'm gonna need that's very important to make the seam nice and tight. All right. The amount that the fender is gonna stick out of the side of the bed. By all the pictures that I looked at on, um, on the internet, it showed that the fenders actually come out a little past here. So it gives that sunken in tire look. I uh, kind of like the front of the FC cab has. So what I'm gonna do is extend it out. Not much, probably just like an inch and a half. So it's gonna come out, the edge of the fender is actually gonna come out to about 12 and a half. I have that fender laid out. <clears throat> I use that bevel to make these angles here and use the dimensions that I got from the depth and the length of each side of this fender. I got this all laid out on this sheet. What's kind of cool is the amount that I have left over is gonna be like just the right amount. Uh, to fully make these fenders. So now I'm gonna just cut this out and the only problem I can see is I have a four foot break and this measures like 53 inches. 
So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make that work. Ideally, I'd like to, if this was four foot long, all the measurements combined, I could put this whole piece in the break and bend all these angles at once and then do that side. But now where it measures over that, I'm going to have to bend this in increments, I think. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it a shot. I'm not really familiar how, how to do that, but I'll see what I can do. Well, I wasn't able to do it with the, uh, the brake. I wasn't able to fit it in there. So I'm gonna have to do it the old school way with a couple of pieces of wood and some uh, vice grips. out pretty well. I got both sides bent up and kind of mocked into position. I just wanted to see how the measurements were going to work if those angles were correct. Uh, it worked out pretty well though. Um, now that I have them in position, these joints worked out pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do is clamp these joints together and just tack weld them from the back side and uh, then I can take it off and it'll hold its position pretty good. I get clamps on it, just holding it in position now. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I went around and installed bolts around the perimeter just to hold it in place. And so I know that it's exactly where it's gonna be. Uh, so now I'm gonna go around and weld, just tack weld so it holds position these corners right here.
We'll just do this outer edge here now too. I get it clamped or well, vice grip together so it'll be nice and tight. So I get that welded up. I got the inside tacked up and I did a good amount of welding on the outside. I was gonna do it from the inside but it ended up looking really crappy on the outside. Uh, so I decided to just weld it on the outside and it worked out pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna probably hit it again, fill in some of these areas, then grind it again. Then we'll use body filler and just kind of smooth that off. Uh, what I like about it, after I welded those, these were, this end was a, a little floppy until I bonded it here, but now it's, it's nice and sturdy. I didn't know if I would have to do some support on the inside just to make it more rigid, but it, it's really nice. It looks really good. So I'm, I'm happy that those are done. I think it's changed the whole look of the, the bed. I mean, it's not the greatest thing, but it, it doesn't look bad either. It's coming along. Uh, so that's going to be pretty much it for today. Uh, next week, this is going to be actually coming out of the garage. Uh, and we're going to bring in the CJ2A and Tyler is going to start working on that, start tearing that down. Uh, and now the FC, the amount of work that I have to do on that in this bed. I'm going to actually do a lot of this work on the bed outside where it's well ventilated, you know, putting the, doing the body work and stuff. I hate doing that inside the garage because it gets really dusty in here and, and it's just, it's not healthy. And the weather's getting nice enough now where we can do this type of body work, do all the sanding and everything and just do it outside. Uh, next week I might, I think I'm going to do a video on restoring this tailgate a little bit. I gotta uh, reinforce the bottom of it and get it so it's really good and functionable. Um, but yeah, that, I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, what also has got done today is, oh, actually not today, but yesterday, Tracy did a lot of work on the glove compartment. Um, she uh, stripped it down. I put a cap stand on it right here for her and because uh, it was all rusted at the bottom and she bondoed it and she's starting to do the body work to it uh, she stripped the front of it also uh, my son tyler actually bent up the metal for the uh the inside of it it actually just had a piece of cardboard in there and he took a template from that and bent up some metal and uh, we plug welded it in place uh, so trace is going to continue cleaning that up and yeah, so that was, that was a good project done, unexpected. But uh, thanks for hanging out with us in the garage today, and I will see you next week. Have a great week, guys.